Hello guys and welcome to another video. GIF WooCommerce product patterns and extra options allows you to sell products that can be customized by your users. Thanks to the option File Upload, your customers can upload an image, picture, logo, design to customize their product before purchasing it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can insert a file upload in some of its main features. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Perfect guys! Here we are inside the demo I used for the product add-ons videos. And over here we have this product that I specially created for today's video. It is a custom design t-shirt. And what I want to show you is how we can insert a file upload so the customer can upload an image, a design, a logo, a picture, whatever they want to customize this product. In this case, this t-shirt we have here. So in order to achieve this, we will need to go over to our plugin. So let's begin by going over to dashboard. And from here, we want to find GIF and click on product add-ons. Over here, you can see we already have all of the previous blocks we have created for the previous videos. But today, I want to go ahead and create a new one. So let's go over here and click on Add Block. Now, I will give it a name. I will enter here Customizable T-shirt. Okay, and the next step is to go over here to Add the Options. So I click here Add Options. And from all of the options that appear here in this pop-up, I will select this time this one here, File Upload. I select it and from here we can configure it. I'll begin with the title. Here I will enter Upload Your Design. And this information will actually appear in the product page. Next, if I scroll down, over here I want to enter both a label and a description. But for this example, I will leave tooltip empty. I will begin with the label and here I will enter Upload your image or custom design. Next, for description, I will enter the following message. Here we have, we print the t-shirt and ship it to you within 24 hours. Now, I don't want to modify any of these other options so we are ready over here, so I will save. And here we can see the block of options we have just created. Upload your design and we have one option. Now all we need to do is associate this block with the product. For that, we need to go over here to rules. And from here, show this block of options in. I will change from all products to specific products and categories. Once I select this option, we will see these two new fields, products to include and categories to include. I want to use this one products to include. And from here, I will search for the product. In this case, custom design t-shirt. Here we have it. Now we can save here and we save one more time our block. And now we're ready to go back and see the result. And we're back in the product page. As you can see, over here we find the option we have just created. Here we can read the title, upload your design. Over here we have the label, upload your image or custom design file. And over here we have the description. We print the t-shirt and ship it to you within 24 hours. Also, we can read here that we can drop files to upload or we can also upload them by clicking on this button here, Upload. Now, all of this is the information we have entered from the plugin. But now there is also something else I want to show you. So let's go back for a moment to the plugin. Here, we are back inside our block of options. But this time I want to show you something inside the plugin general settings. 
So let's go over here and I will click on general options. And from here, I will scroll down to find this upload options. All of these options will help us configure the file upload. For example, we have here text to show, which means that you can modify this text we have here. As you saw in the demo, right now we have drop files to upload or, but you will be able to change this text. Also, we have this option, link to show. Right now we are showing the button upload, but if I click here, we also have this option, textual browse. So I will select this one so we can see the difference. I will now save options so we can go back and have a look. Okay, I will refresh the page so we can see the difference. Now over here, we notice how the upload button has changed and now it is showing the text browse. In this message over here, drop files to upload or is the one I was telling you about that you can modify from the plugin. Now let's go back one more time because there is something else I want to show you from the upload options. So from the upload options inside the general settings, we will also find these two options here. Allowed file types and max file size allowed. These two options will help you determine which file types and the maximum size you want to allow the customers to upload to customize their product. For our example, I will leave it as it is, but I really wanted to show you that you will also have these alternatives available. So let's go back so we can try uploading a file. So I will proceed and I will upload a file. For this, we have two options. I can either click here in browse so we can select a file from the computer or I can also drag and drop, which is actually one of the latest features we included for the file upload option. I will go ahead with this second alternative. So I will find my file, this one here, the GIF logo. So I drag and I drop it here. There we go. As we can see, now the file has been uploaded. Now I will add to cart because I want to complete the checkout process so I can also show you how this option looks like from the backend. So I go ahead and add to cart and now we can view cart. Over here we can see our product, so custom design t-shirt and here we can see the logo I have uploaded. Now let's Go ahead and proceed to checkout. Here, I already have all the required fields completed, so I can go ahead and place order. Perfect. Here we have it. This is the order we have just placed. Now let's go ahead and look at this from the backend. For that, I will go over here to dashboard. From here, we go to WooCommerce and orders. And over here, we have the order we just placed. So when the admin opens this order, here they will see the product. And over here, they will be able to open the file. So if I click here, now the logo that I have uploaded appears here. And this way, the admin will have access to the file. Well, guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.